Well, we now know an apparent heart attack struck down actor James Gandolfini in the prime of his life, and we're thinking that this may be an appropriate time to talk about the risks of heart attack. Yeah, and Francis, survival rates, they are improving. There are so many medical advances. They can actually diagnose a heart attack in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But, of course, there are a ton of factors. You know, for instance, uh, delaying care, so delaying calling 911. Sometimes, unfortunately, there are no symptoms, and the first symptom is cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. Of course, in that case, it's fatal. And we know about traditional risk factors, high blood pressure, smoking, family history, but some of these symptoms of heart attack may actually surprise you. Out walking as my normal morning exercise. I was feeling not very good and gradually developed chest pains. Those pains quickly spread across 72 year old Mick O'Meara's chest, turning into a strong pain that felt a lot like bruising. So I thought this is a serious issue, I better call 911. Sat on the uh, couch by the front window and uh, waited for the ambulance to arrive. I never saw any arrive. I was gone by the time the ambulance got here. It only took a few minutes for paramedics to arrive, but what really helped save Mick's life was a split-second decision to leave the front door unlocked. I was revived a total of five times. Mick suffered a massive heart attack, was in an induced coma, and was discharged just four days later. Some traditional warning signs include chest pain, particularly over the middle of your chest. That could radiate to your jaw, into your shoulders, or into your back. Some people feel short of breath with or without that pain. Some folks feel sweaty, nauseous. While Mick didn't have the textbook warning signs, that's not uncommon. Symptoms of heart attack can vary from clutching chest pain to simple nausea. The key is getting help right away. That artery can happen within seconds or minutes, and then once you're having a cardiac arrest, that vital time, it could be a minute, it can be seconds. I mean, after a while, that heart rhythm that's erratic could degenerate into a flat line. Once you're flat line, the chances of resuscitation are exquisitely low. It's been seven months since Mick's heart attack, and he credits his intuition for saving him so easy to think, well, I'll uh, shake it off or I'll get better. If you take it seriously, you've got a much better chance of getting help. You know, you do think about it as uh, something that only afflicts men, but uh, that's not true. And it's actually uh, the number one killer of women over 60? It is still the number one killer, and that uh, includes heart attack and stroke. Mm -hmm. And the doctor I spoke with actually said women, maybe it's because we're generally the, the caretakers, mm -hmm. perhaps, we don't seek help as often as men do. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's important to recognize the symptoms, even if you're a woman. And get help right away, that's key. Yeah.